Let's get this thing started. There's sports happening, allegedly. The no fun zone. Eh. Last night, no Team USA no. beat China 107 to 57. <laughs> what is that? Ooh, why are we big. Like, tell the DeMar DeRozan, I don't know. He wanted to throw a 360 Duncan in the mix. He failed, did not stop KD from celebrating. He walked onto the court. The team got teed up for it after the game. Coach K, not happy, apparently. Told Mark Spears. We had a little bit too much fun out there tonight. We have to tone that down a little bit. Yeah, you know what? You only won by 50, and I feel like you need to take it more seriously. Um, tone it down? Really? I know what it sounds like, because there's no competition out there. Even when we talk about when we go to the Olympics and France is out there, and they're going to put out Boris Diaw and Tony Parker. Yes, they are. You know, and that sounds great, except those guys couldn't even make our squad if they could qualify to make our How squad. So, therefore, we know we have an unfair advantage. What he's talking about is what... Coaches usually say to players is save up for a rainy day. What does that mean in players talk? That means make sure you keep your fundamentals intact. That means no matter what the circumstances, still do the right things because players are trained behaviors. Conditioned athletes. Points, yeah. You only do things good or you do things okay. bad. You and this is not a good thing if this points. was a competitive environment. Two, <laughs> two games in a row they have played China. Yeah, yeah. China. And Coach Shevsky has been around long enough to have some cultural sensitivity to the international community. Uh, in China, uh, nice. it is very, very rude to disrespect your opponent yes. like that. Which like when, I, when I was there, if so, a somebody, 360 is disrespectful. Yes. Well, this is like America. <laughs> a 360 when you're dunking on somebody up 50. I mean, actually, they're up okay, 47. Yeah, yeah, get in there. But, but, but you, listen, when you're you, in China and somebody says, "Would what? you like to go to dinner?" and you're like, "I'm busy. I can't go to dinner." You don't just say that. You say, "I am so honored that you asked me to go to dinner. I have an." Another plan, but I am so honored that you asked okay. me to go to no, dinner. Okay, no, that's fine. We're going, that a little too, you... we're going a little too far. First of all, Mar Marcellus, you, 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 you want to have fun. You don't want to be the 50-year-old white dude with a headband setting picks at the YMCA. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what I mean? We know that guy. <laughs> right? Yeah. I think we all know that guy, too. You don't want to be that guy. And when you're up by 50, you want them running plays? To me, that's more disrespectful. Oh, you want them out of international have... incident You think right an now. international yes. incident? I covered the game the other night in Los Angeles, and I can't tell you how many times Coach K said the Chinese team played very hard. Well, they, they need to play so harder. harder. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they need to play a little Who harder. Who does that? Yeah. Finish. Practice more. Be better, <laughs> yeah. as I say. Um, doesn't matter, because at the end of the day, all we really want to talk about is the DeRozan miss dunk, because it was actually quite beautiful. It was. Like, look at this. Oh, and oh. it just wasn't. Ooh, 360 dunk, in. pretty hard to do in a game. It did, however, get the attention of one LeBron James, who tweeted the following, man, if DeMar DeRozan would have made that dunk, would have been <laughs> top five all time. Mm. Look, it's a miss. We can still be impressed, no? No, it's a miss. <laughs> it's like being almost a virgin. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Oh, I, I saw it from where yes, I was. Yeah. No, yes, you're yeah. still a virgin. That's still a miss. You don't get a credit for that. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. Almost. Yeah, almost doesn't count. When you look at the box score, that's an 0 for 1. That's all really, I'm really saying. Beautiful so up until what? I agree. I agree. It was beautiful, and I agree with you, Mama. Th that is as impressive as some of the dunks we've seen that were actually made. This was. This is a top dunk, even though he missed it because of the daring to actually try it. Not only a 360, but driving on another person and still almost completed. Only thing that stopped him was the foul, because <laughs> if this aim wasn't mm -hmm. there, that would have went in. And, you know, DeRozan, De a De local kid from Compton, I know him, saw him on Friday night. Yep. Oh, hey! I, <laughs> <laughs> look, man, <drive. laughs> The reason I bring that up, because if you've been watching him, he's been trying this. This is not his first attempt of a 360. You know uh, what he needs to do? And you, oh. Look at this. Oh. I saw this one. He just, just wants to yeah, do so bad. Like, it's not going to happen. Can I just say, you know what he needs to do? He needs what? to try some more, because he's missed every oh, time. Oh, but look down. Oh. Ah, how you like that, Wolf? That he was right in Everybody else got out of the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he makes them when they're not there. Yeah, so do there. I in my driveway. <laughs> I've had some great almost dunks. Wait, did we, <laughs> did we not do an entire show about best dunks never yes good because now it gives us an excuse to run some of those <laughs> here we go there have been some amazing almost dunks over the course of the year oh, oh my oh, goodness oh. That's, now, that's uh, amazing that's your boy that, that's amazing oh. to even say i'm gonna try this and poor duncan uh, that's why he retired that'll force you to retire right there i've been to the depot college days look at this he's a guard that's something that's like i would give that a nine in the slam dunk exactly shannon brown do you remember that I remember seeing that live, like, yeah. oh, oh. 
You know what? They're always that turn to the side. I'm not. I'm not. Right? Like at the end? This is that's what I love right there. Now that. Why does he lean back? No apparatus. You know what I love about that? He did the he did the Bugs Bunny running in the air. By the way, we don't want to forget the one thing. Last night, believe it or not, was Kevin Durant's debut mm. at his future home, oh. New York Arena. Warriors. He was greeted with a standing ovation, got a bunch of cheers from the crowd, scored the team's first 10 points. Yes. Typical Warriors fashion, he even celebrated Kyle Lowry's three uh, before <laughs> it actually went in. It did not go in, by the way. Ramona, <laughs> reaction to his debut at home? Yeah, he looked like he was nervous. Like, he was trying really hard. I mean, he you was, blame him? He was chewing on his mouth guard like Steph Curry. He's celebrating <laughs> with, <laughs> before the ball even went in. I mean, I know it was awkward because you know, they've been booing him and cheering against him for years, and it was always going to be awkward, but I felt like he was trying really hard. But can well, you blame him? I mean, that's yeah, all yeah, eyes yeah. on him. You know, if you look, at, look into the story, his teammates actually made it a bigger moment than he did. Kyrie Irving came up to him before the game and said, uh, I don't care what you're doing. We're going to throw you the ball in the beginning of this game to kind of let you see this crowd for what it is in your new home. And as John Cena said when he was hosting the, the ESPYs, this I dude never, is... I've never been on a show where someone quotes yeah, John yeah, Cena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this better be good. Yeah. The, the, the dude is... You know, we made him a villain, ah, but yes. he's not really a villain. If you yeah. really look at Kevin Durant, he just made a great business decision. That just... Maybe. I will well, tell you. Well, I, I think he we went to a yet. great situation with a great style of play. And I think in that respect, he's happy where he is. And look, is, who wouldn't be nervous going into that situation and finally went somewhere where he's actually loved? Come on, you've probably I, done stand-up somewhere and tried a little too hard. Uh, <laughs> last night. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oops. But I will tell you this. I think, it, outside of competitive balance, I think this is great for the NBA because, I, I look, I hate the Yankees more than any team. Sure. But I think baseball is better when the Yankees are good. It's great to have a team to hate. This is now the team to hate. I think it's great. Yeah. Well, we, we, we make these teams to hate just because we are bored or we have yeah. by default. Yeah. But there's nothing it's to hate nature. really. About. We need to yeah. have, like, somebody root for, somebody to cheer yeah. against. Yes. It just makes everything. Yeah. It makes life better. better drama like, stories. He's not embracing this. Like, he's not embracing the he will. role. He will. He won't be a good villain. I don't no. think he'll embrace that villain very well. I mean, look what it took LeBron. That he tried yeah. that whole first year right, in Miami, right? right. I, don't think he, I don't think he's that guy. All right, more Sports Nation to come. But first, after filling up, well, kind of, our swear jar, <laughs> he does owe us some money. Nate Diaz talked little beebs with Conan. Listen. And I would think if you are a fight champion, Justin Bieber's opinion would mean a lot to you. <laughs> Uh, but he insulted you on Twitter after the fight. The way it works is the guy who won is usually the better fighter. <laughs> but, uh, uh, yeah, he, he put his opinion out, and uh, I heard about it, and I was like, whatever. But then someone posted on, on social media a, a picture of... Of you slapping of, him. Of me slapping yeah, him. Yeah, take a look at this. <laughs> Sports Nation is presented by Toyota. Let's go places. And in part by Michelin, a better way forward. It's time for your 2016 Rio update. <laughs> Today's update, the U.S. gymnastics team left for Rio Tuesday night. Oh, hey, ladies! More matching shirts! <laughs> Two-time master champ Bubba Watson says he can't wait to get to Rio. We're the all most awkward the picture I've yeah, ever I'm seen in my life. And if you're going to swim in the waters, health officials in Brazil advise keeping your mouth closed as More efforts to treat sewage and scoop up garbage have fallen short. Oh, oh. Just like in New York. <laughs> that was your 2016 Rio update. Nine days, guys. Nine days. No Nine different days. than the Hudson River. Yeah. Yeah, we're not in the Olympics in the Hudson. I have to I'm tell you, I don't swim with my mouth open What's anyway. The the That's gross. He's retiring as a Nick, Ooh. by the way, not with the Suns, the team he spent his most successful years. Ramona, people should be angry? Yeah, I think people in Phoenix should be a little angry. I mean, the Suns are where he had them as the most successful years. Obviously, he brought basketball back to the Garden when, I, when they missed on LeBron, but this is a big deal. I think Phoenix, Phoenix Suns fans feel a little disrespected. Maybe he yeah. had some bad things happen. He just no, if you're from, starting to pay attention to these athletes and their brands as they're uh -huh. going, you want to retire a Nick. Why? Because you get to go back for the ceremonies that are in New York City so, that expand your brand versus going back to Phoenix. <laughs> Do they? Who? 
And let me ask you. One good year in New York. Who really cares? Who really cares? Who really cares? Well, we know he's a great player who now gets attached to a great brand. That's how you help yourself. Wait, the Knicks are a great brand? Have you been watching basketball? Oh, yeah. I didn't say they're a great team, but they're a great brand. I know, but they're not going to be Nick great Amari Stoudemire. We're never going to say that. No. No. All right. But he's hoping you are. Yes. Midriffs. Yesterday, a fan showed his support for Chris Sale's hatred of throwbacks by wearing this. A little number. Love it. Oh. Love oh. it. <laughs> Love it. That's a belly button I think I could go so two good. knuckles deep on. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's, That's not it. I'm That's not it. That's not it. Oh, no. That's a two knuckle belly I'm button for me. Something. I like that. <laughs> for anybody who has a little extra flesh, and yeah. I think we can, well, you don't. I got my like, hands you know. up. Yeah. I've worn shirts and they just ride up naturally. Yeah. I don't know that it's this guy really did this on there. purpose. I don't think it no, looks like either. he's just wearing a shirt yeah. that rode up naturally. Yeah. These dad bods, yeah, the dad bods fleshy. get away with it. That's yeah. messed up. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that. his son next to him. I know like, his oh son is like, oh no. His son's like, are we gonna get the hot dogs now or what? No, no, you're not, kid. Don't eat the hot dogs. Loser arteries. The Ohio State Fair in Columbus on Tuesday released butter sculptures honoring the Cavs. Included sculptures of the team's logo and mascots. I love butter, guys. Hey. This seems like a waste of butter. Anybody <laughs> who's ever questioned if America is the fattest country in the world <laughs> just <laughs> needs to go to the butter sculptures yeah, right. in Ohio. Exactly. The that was the cool. story. What's the rest <laughs> of the story? What are they going to do with the sculpture when it's... <laughs> they're going to lick them. What do you mean I they're going to do? By the way, who yes. here likes to eat butter by itself? Raise your hand. What? I've done it. Do you know that I love butter. My neighbor used to put a <laughs> stick of butter on a popsicle stick, yeah, with roll sugar. it in powdered sugar, and put it in the oh. freezer and eat it. Oh. I just did regular granulated yeah, sugar. Oh, well, rest, in, rest in peace, awesome. neighbor. Huh? <laughs> 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 Neighbor's gone. Ain't no way that neighbor made it to 30. Marcellus, I'm still eating sugar butter. Oh, are you still doing it, and too? And I'm still here. Not sugar butter? Lie. Sugar butter. That was my sugar nickname butter. in high school. <laughs> it's, like, it's a good, uh... Oh. Anyways, winner poster. Sugar butter. <laughs> sugar oh, butter. Sugar butter. Check out this 90s style Russell Wilson's what? titled yeah. Armed and Dangerous. Oh. You know what? Let me <laughs> tell right. you. Devin, behind camera, whatever number that is, just laughed out loud. Oh and he's dressed as a bear. And he's dressed so. as a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you, I remember when I lost my virginity. I was pretty happy, too. <laughs> That's twice in the show that you brought this up. Russell Wilson can't it's get right. He, he just can't That's do marketing right. right. Was, yeah. It's like Rambo. Who are you and... kidding? Russell is not good. Oh, oh there you go. Is that Sharknado? Who put that's, the football there, though? That's I like Sharnado it. That's Marcellus right there. I like it. <laughs> I do, though. I Danger remember. Lust. Stupid. I like those old 80s basketball posters. The you know, the Iceman. Like, I, I love those old posters. But it's I just, hope they go back to Nobody, yeah. look, nobody's looking at Russell Wilson going, no. ooh, scary. Nope, not one human not being one in the world. Ever. <laughs> ever. Yeah, he needs to get it right. Devin, run out here so we can show the bear yeah, let's costume. Let's see the bear. Russell Wilson would have been better off wearing this costume yeah. and just being funny. There it is. That's it for us. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.